Lee Walker, the World Seniors Champion. He reckons this could be his last uh, snooker he plays competitively. But he's here with one you know, of the biggest beasts in the snooker jungle. And Alan, I know you are a big, big fan of this event. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, right up there, isn't it? Tenth year, tenth staging. The first event to return to ITV nine years ago, and it's grown rich history now. But yeah, what a big day this is for Lee Walker. If it is to be his swan song at this sort of level, then let's hope he puts in a, a good, strong performance. He has a reputation well earned as being a very, very tough competitor. And uh, as we saw at the start, he leads the head-to-head 2-1. -head the first of those wins was before Selby became a top player in World Qualifying 2004, but the second was when Selby was world champion at the World Open 2017. Selby's win came at the Gibraltar Open 2020. Of course, he's the only one here, Mark Selby, oddly enough, who has not actually won a title. He is in off the world ranking list. His last title was at the World Championship 18 months ago. And there's a very recognisable face doing his own Twitter commentary, probably. No, Mark Williams, but of course he's here. He's driven Lee Walker here. And he will be in his corner this afternoon. Yeah, here's a typical clever Selby shot. Cushion first, push the red back down. And keep it above the blue spot to create a problem for Lee. I don't think he's going to be found wanting in these exchanges, the early exchanges of frames, Lee Walker. Clever player, knows the game inside out, this fella. Just addressing the right side of the cue ball, so he's looking for in behind the green. And that's always the problem, isn't it? So, first semblance of an opening. The world senior champion. This cue ball, pink and black, waiting. One. Yeah, just overcooked. Just a hair too much pace, and he can't play the pot now. He's found quite a nasty spot here. He's looking like he can't thin the pink and not contact a red. He might be forced to skim the pink and have to glance a red, and by doing that, he's not sure where the cue ball is going to finish. 
Let's just see if he can avoid glancing the red. He's digging down, he's taking the pink on. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Took his time deliberating of what shot to play, but it was worth the wait. This is a great chance. Seven. Yeah, and the fact that, and we heard in the interview with Rob talking about, you know, he's heavily into coaching, his playing career is probably done after this event. It makes him very dangerous, doesn't it? Because, in a way, everything's a bonus. He's got all the experience in the world. He got to the quarterfinals of the World Championship back in 1997. And at the Crucible, to win that World Seniors, he beat a host of really well-known players. Here's some names for you. Thanks. Tony Knowles, Stephen Hendry, Ken Doherty. Then from 3-0 down in the semis against the defending champion David Lilly, 1-4-3. From 4-2 down in the final, he beat the great Jimmy White, 5-4. Just evidence there in that shot. It's normal, the first match in the, this sort of tournament. The cushions play a little bit softer, first up. Uh, something to bear in mind. saw his son Noah as Lee came down the steps just uh, supporting him very proudly there he is big day for the family as Lee said his father passed away in July so this is his first tournament without him but he's got his own son here and this is a very promising start Yeah, he's just trying to figure out the pattern which he wants to go about this that red on the top side of the table might help him he decides to play on blue off his next red help I think on two counts this match today a couple of things might help him the fact that this might be his swan song as a player at professional level and just the fact he's playing on TV in a huge event might free him up and try to get better rhythm Twenty nine. again evidence soft cushions so he's just kind of a wee bit awkward
Lee Walker, 29. Yeah, it was just a bit trickier than he wanted, I guess. He was going well until he left himself just a little awkward. Mark Selby has played in uh, every Champion of Champions. This is the 10th staging, as I said earlier. Best he's done is two semi-finals. Of course, last season, Selby was dealing with off-table issues, so Snooker took a, a back seat. But he's shown signs already in this campaign of the form returning. Of course, the wonderful maximum that we watched in Milton Keynes was evidence of that. Yeah, tried to drop in behind the blue, but as you see, misjudged it. struck that with great authority didn't he so Mark Selby he's in in this opening frame he made uh, that maximum in the event four years ago still the, the only one we've had in the champion of champions six Seven. One of these visits where the, with the pink and black where they are, Cube will have to do a lot of travelling back for blue. Potted that on the thin side, hence losing the cue ball farther to the right as we see it, and getting the awkward cannon. Mark Selby, 12. Slightly edgy start, but that's not unusual. This is the first match of the tournament, of course, and it's a big week. It's, this is an event everyone wants to get into. And, of course, with, apart from Selby this year, everyone who is in it has won something. So it's the players who've been gracing the, the showpiece matches as the year's gone on who've made it here. Clever shot, almost returning the the earlier shot by Mark, playing cushion first, which meant that he could get the red above the blue line. Seven. 
Lee Walker. Yeah, so then off is going to present Lee with a test of queuing. I think that's clever, just free the cue ball from the green. You don't really want it close to the green. It, it kind of puts you off the strike of the shot. I guess the other thing for Walker is he's sort of trying to get used to the, this environment again. He's not played uh, a match of this size for, for a, quite a while because he's not currently on the tour, didn't get through the Q school in the last season. Oh, <laughs> now we've got a little visitor. Brendan will be very uh, humane here, I'm sure. Well, he's going to hold it in his hands for now. Brendan's gonna, Brendan Moore's going to release it back into yeah. the wild. Yeah, he didn't put Selby off because Mark Selby played a match at the Crucible against Yan Bing Tao where a pigeon invaded the arena. So that, that's nothing to him. He's had a few looks at this black. He's obviously he's okay with it. The fact that the cue ball is pretty much where he'd put it if he had ball in hand. So it shouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, that's superb. I mean, it didn't look it, but what it does is it sets up, well, 15. a possible, a long way to go, but a possible frame winning chance. Such a precise Six. positional shot.
20. I always think this shot is the best there is. It's one of the, you know, you say it should be quite straightforward, this deep screw on and off cushion, but you know, he gets through the cue ball with this and he wants to play longer. He's really going deep there and getting the cue ball out of that corner because he's guaranteed good position that way. Fit. So nine in front. Let's say three red blacks, so. Nine and 24, 33 is going to need all four reds when the frame at this visit. Thirty-one. Thirty-eight. Yeah, just lost the cue ball, so that's end the break. see the, the slight annoyance. Selby was starting to look good, he was in the groove. But uh, one thing we know about Mark Selby, he's extremely patient. i will try and wait for another chance. Mark Selby, 38. Also 17 in front. Quite a poor mistake that for a player of Lee's quality. So a big shot this pink and black waiting. Not massive surprise to see him miss that on the thick side. You play that shot with just a hint of right hand side, but Early on in a brand new cloth, you push the cue ball thicker. Hence the missed pot. This might be worth having a go at because with Mark needing all three reds, even if he misses and leaves, Mark would still have a big job to win the frame. So this is worth a dart. Eight. 
Nein. So, 26. Blue to come. Pockets tend to play that bit easier, as we know. First up, so dead weight. With this next red, will be the way to play it. You know, the fact that they tend to slide in, and fancy him to get this. Yeah, you, you saw it catch the cushion on the way down. And uh, it didn't drop, so Lee Walker then gets a reprieve. It's early doors, as we know, and that shot that Mark had there. Of course, we're playing on the beautiful Rasson tables this week, which isn't the norm. So they don't have all that much experience, recent experience anyway, of how these tables tend to play along the cushion. thing with that shot that Lee played, if he goes the other way, the cue ball's last path would have been going towards the yellow. He's going across the line of position where he played it, so. The premium on getting good position was much more Three difficult, just eight. the way that he played it. been a lot worse I guess if the white goes in rare misjudgment from Selby Selby. Yeah, it was one of those he just had to gamble because playing it with pace the pot becomes a bit easier so that was why he played it with pace but of course he always he would have known he'd have been close to the in off so 27 to the good no heroics with the cue ball virtual frame ball this Two. I'm sure we'll reflect he had a lot of chances in this frame, including that latter one. Of course, he was in first as well. Now 29, but Mark Selby has chipped away as he does. Nine. And he is going to win the first frame of this year's Champion of Champions. Right. 
So Oscar we're off and running here in Bolton. Matt Selby just sort of testing the table here, maybe feeling it's not quite running true. But he's won the first frame of this best of seven. He leads Lee Walker 1-0. More great drop. Day one of the Kazoo Champion of Champions here in Bolton. Mark Selby leads Lee Walker 1-0. This is a best of seven. The winner plays tonight. The winner of our next match this afternoon between John Higgins and Hussein Vafai. Thank you. The second frame, Mark Selby. To Yeah, Walker had made the early running in that frame and had a few more chances after that. But that's the thing. It's all very well saying, you know, it's everything's a bonus, I'm here to enjoy it. But he's a snooker player, and when you get out there, you want to win and you want to produce your best. And he would have been a little frustrated with a couple of things that happened, I think, in the first frame. So he's in immediately in this frame and looking for maybe a, a cleaner kill than the, the opener, which is very scrappy. Our last event on ITV, the British Great. Open, he was a quarter-finalist and he also reached the quarter-finals recently of the Northern Ireland Open in Belfast. Four. You just feel with his mind back on the green bays this season, he's going to come good at some point. Yeah, 
think in some ways, Mark, this right. last year or so, something of a transitional period of his career in that for the first time in, well, we a dozen right. going on 15 years, he's in a position where on the end of season ranking, he's 21. He's going to lose the... All those points that he gained at the Crucible 18 months ago, come Crucible time, come the end of season. So he's in a position where he's got to make a bit of hay. And as I say, the last dozen years or so, it's been going through season after season, picking up, if not one, then two or three titles per season. 26. But as David said, it, the season so far has been pretty good. Showed a lot of good signs of recent form. Yeah, it looks like he'll definitely be in the World Grand Prix, which obviously is a, a tournament where he can pick up further points, try and push on to our next player series event, the Players' Championship and then the Tour Championship. <coughs> well, he went into them full-blooded, didn't he? But you always need uh, just a little bit of... 32. Fortune as well to, to actually land on one. chance to win the second frame. Thirty six. Yeah, the scoreboard's interesting. 44 and 24 would be 68 without the five reds in the middle, but playing for blue means that he now needs one of those five reds 45. in the bunch so I guess there's no time like the present perfect angle to yes, a mid pace shot expect these to separate nicely yeah well played a wee bit unfortunate if he's not on the red to right corner because he played it nicely but if body language tells anything, he looks pretty comfortable with it, so there you go. Fifty one. Shot again, I said earlier, isn't it? The straight black getting the cue ball working out brilliant at that. Just not so much recycling the break, but it just keeps it going back in prime position. 59. And frame ball coming up after this black. Yeah, Lee Walker played that poor safety at the start of the frame to give Selby the opening. We tend to pigeonhole players, call Selby gritty and tenacious 66. and all that. He's also a terrific break builder. Maybe it's not said enough, but we're seeing it here. And very quickly, 67. he's got himself to 2-0. Yeah, it was. 
74. Seventy-five. Here's the shot again. Watch the cue ball spin. Right. Just off straight, so didn't go deep on it. But yeah, he's now looking really good. Eighty-two. Well, he would have blocked oh, the century for it. It was a surprising miss, but the damage had been well and truly done. A swift 82 in, in just eight minutes. He's halfway to victory, leading Lee Walker here in Bolton by two frames to nil. More great drama. That's just the job. Mark Selby going well here on the first afternoon of the Champion of Champions. He's just made a, a swift 82 break to lead Lee Walker 2-0. Thank you to third frame. Lee Walker to break. Remember the uh, two winners this afternoon play each other tonight. So the winner of this match will play either John Higgins or Hussein Vafai and they will advance to the semi-finals at the weekend. Well, it's a mistake, and it could be a big one. Quite rare area, really, from Selby. One. Yes, yeah, he's just on the run for this pink, so it's a big blue coming up here. 
there's any, to be any way back in the match, it's really got to start here with this shot. It's a feel-good shot, that, isn't it? It was almost a, a copy of the red that he missed in frame one when he had ball in hand to this left corner. So, good adjustment. Let's see if he can find another good piece of ball striking. Ah. Play Walker, six. It's a, I think it's a side of the game now, or an element of the game. Those mid-range pots that we think of. Well, the obvious one would be someone like Neil Robertson. He just devours them. He eats them up, almost never misses them. They're so key to keeping breaks going. Huge part of the modern game. Six. Seven. Yeah, quite deliberately here. He's going to try and, I think, clear that pink spot as best he can. Get those two reds shifting, get them moving. Mm. Power in, maybe. Yeah. Not quite, so... Pink and black are going to be pretty much out of commission, I think. It's looking at the line that this is going to go on. Confirmed by referee Brendan Thanks. Moore. So, walk off the blue for the time being. problem in one shot here going into the red pink he might gamble here with a lot of pace to shift pink and black now I tried to be gentle with it but it always looked lightly that so <laughs> nice Again, it was a smart play because now that he's in stroke right. and he's got control of the match at the moment, just build the lead. Twenty-four. 
29. Yeah, another attempt to get the big colours out. Didn't quite come off. Good. And this is the problem when there's so much travelling that White's got to do. Eventually, likely you're going to lose position. So it's back to just being patient again. You won't want to do Not anything reckless because he Lee Walk at the moment needs an easy starter. And I can't afford to hand him that, so quite the opposite in fact. He's put him in behind the green. Looks like he's thinking about trying to rest on the red that's touching the black, or virtually touching the black. Mm. Yeah, it's not the one he was playing on the cutback, maybe on. Surrendered at the last one. Looked like he'd overcut it at first. This is shaping up to be one of those not particularly memorable frames, but they all count the same. And to win tournaments, you need to win high percentage of them. If you look at Mark Selby's crucible record at the World Championship. You have to win 70 one frames every year to win that right. tournament. They're not all going to be centuries, clearly, so it's often the more nondescript frames can win the vast majority, then obviously it's a big step towards winning titles. Six. Just talking of his upcoming ranking issues at the moment, the end of the season, 21st place, largely because just looking, I was looking back at his record, he hasn't beaten a current top 16 player, he hasn't beaten Hello. any of those for 10 and a half months. Going back to the last. Well just before Christmas, the Grand Prix. Where he beat Mark Allen. So that's a long time for a player of Mark's class, obviously, to not get victories that have been commonplace down the years. That's in a knockout event. Seven. Eight. Well, it looked like that shot would open things up, actually. <laughs> the red has now run rather safe. But he's pressing on. He's got a good lead with balls awkward. It's a good lead to have. That's a great effort. What a shot that is. Honestly, on a strange call, I thought he's had two and a half frames, but 23. playing it with bundles of left hand side. Fantastic shot. Best shot of the match by a distance, that. 
Yeah, and he just needs this black now. 24. And Lee Walker's back in the snooker's required stage. So, as I say, it, it won't be the frame of the tournament, but it's a step towards Mark Selby continuing in the tournament. The thing with the rankings is all those points coming off, of 31. course, there's plenty of time before May for points to go on. And there's some big tournaments. Obviously, this is not a ranking event, but the UK Championship, first prize there, quarter of a million. So your fortunes can turn around uh, with one good week. The bottom line is with Mark Selby, if he's in the right frame of mind, then he's very, very dangerous because his determination He's well known to everybody. Yeah, the other thing with this frame, as David said, it, it's not been Let's an eye catcher, nothing like it, but just thinking back on it in this last 10 or 15 minutes or so, how many bad shots has Mark played? The answer is none. And that's why, regardless of form or eye-catching play, he's so difficult to play against. Oh. Yes, and uh, he's not really missed anything of significance, has he, really? 96% on the pot success for the match. He's sick of us constantly saying he's not won a tournament on ITV. Well, there's one way to end that <laughs> and to stop us, and that's to win one. <laughs> oh, we well, the end on the it was a pretty masterful frame all round that from Selby. He just controlled things really well. And he's got the reward he's looking for, and in, what, 54 minutes, he's on the brink of victory here, leading Lee Walker by three frames to nil. Mark Selby and Lee Walker, the first match here at the Champion of Champions. A wonderful arena here in Bolton. And the start of a great week. But Mark Selby looking the big favourite to continue into this evening because he leads 3-0. And he needs one more for victory. Thank you, friend, for Mark Selby to bring. And after that very scrappy opening frame, he's been really fully in control. He made that 82 that could have been a century in frame two and then... Really controlled things in the third as well. 
Lee Walker, I'm sure, does not want to depart without showing us what he can do here. He's much in demand for coaching. He's, uh, of course, using all his experience, passing it on to the next generation, in particular young Liam Davis, who is a very exciting prospect from Wales. He became the youngest player at uh, 15 to win a match in the World Championship last season. And uh, this year he's won the world title at the under-21, under-18 and under-16 age divisions. So he's got Lee in his corner and uh, great excitement for the years ahead. One. Don't feel like it. Now let's see if that's the start of something. Nine. Sixteen. It was a bit of a gamble that, especially playing it with a tracer right hand side, which he did. I mean, a lot of players in the modern day would have played that with maybe a hint of left to encourage the cue ball to stay high. You see, when it comes off the cushion, there's a bit of right on it, and it jags down the way. So the intent of the shot was good, but. Not the end result, but he can solve that in one fell swoop with a good long red to far corner. A wee bit of pressure on it with a couple of reds to left middle on offer. They walk a 60. Well, he's got the cover, but will Mark entertain the swerve? This sort of sums up his afternoon, doesn't it? The fact he's gone over the pocket OK. He's saying he can't hit it directly. There's another red on to middle. And, yeah, he's got the confidence to just get down and knock that in, even though there's a red over the pocket. Mark Selby looks in full control of uh, himself this afternoon. So this is his first chance to get this match won. Six. I guess Lee Walker is a bit ring rusty when it comes to competitive play. He's been focusing on his coaching. He's back out in the middle against one of the all-time greats in quite a short match in front of this crowd and everyone 13. watching on TV. So it's hard to sort of just click into gear and time clearly running out. He's out of his hands whether he gets back to the table now.
60. So for once this afternoon, wrong side of blue. Can't go round. All three cushions can't go round yellow, green, brown. Whichever way he plays this, it's difficult to avoid collision. This is a sign of confidence, the off straight green. Well, brown actually. And again, this is clever because if he overcooks this, the red goes, the one that's farthest to the right. Brilliant shot, just a brilliant shot. He's played on the open one, but almost overcooking it because he knows if he does, he's got one waiting. 21. But just the fact that he played the brown alone tells you Something about his confidence level. Mark Selby, 21. Then, yeah, because the red. Just as it was starting to be looking like end of match, Lee Walker does come back to the table. This has been a feature, Selby, in recent times, just not quite killing matches off clinically. We saw it in Belfast recently in the Northern Ireland Open. He had match ball to beat Tamad Mir 4-0 and didn't uh, pot it and sort of scrambled through 4-2 in a much longer evening than it probably should have been. They walk one. Yeah, just struggling for any rhythm. I mean, it, he's reached that point of the match we often say, don't we, when back to the wall, your next shot could be your last. And he's not a player that's cut from the sort of cloth that you think, right, OK, I'm going to loose arm it here and just have a go at a few. He's not a, really a rhythm type of player. Oh, one. and that's worked out beautifully. So Selby looking to apply the finishing touches and of course he'll have quite a nice break before this evening's group decider. John Higgins and Hussain Vafai waiting in the wings for match two. 50. Six. If it's if it is to be Lee Walker's 
last dance as a tour professional. It's been good to see him out in this stage. Deserved it after lifting that world senior title, but 24. he's a snooker man through and through, and it is to be his last shot. He'll be involved in the game for many years to come, sure of that. Yeah, I echo that. He's got a lot to still contribute. I mentioned Liam Davis, be following his progress with interest, and of course he's still very much in one. Mark Williams' corner as well. Can't see Mark now in the arena. He may have uh, gone to start the car for the long drive home. Mark Selby then a couple of balls away from wrapping this up. And overall, I think he'll be delighted with how he's played. OK, maybe he's not been put under as much pressure as he will be later in the event, but he's still... The old department looks very solid. 38. So this black and Lee Walker will need two snookers. That with great control. He didn't just sort of smash the black 45. in and hope for the best. He came round, he looked at the reds because he wants to kill this off. He doesn't want playing on for snookers. And now there's not going to be any. 46. Sixty one. Sixty three. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Sixty six. He said himself it was uh, a very tall order before the match even began. Seventh. Mark Selby looking for his first title, remember, since he became world champion for the fourth time 18 months ago. 75. And he's taken the first step towards winning 81. this champion of champions for the first time. 